patients with metastatic colorectal cancer that are treated with anti-EGFR, today are tested uh, for the KRAS exon 2 status of their tumor. If they have a mutated tumor, it's not a good idea to treat these patients with uh, anti-EGFR therapies such as penetumumab or cetuximab. What we did based on new data generated in frontline setting, um, the prime data and the peak data, where Fox was associated with penetumumab against um, chemotherapy alone or against bevacizumab and Fox, it was clearly seen that additional mutations in the RAS gene might influence the outcome of these patients. And based on these data, we went back to the um, phase three study in second line, where patients were treated with 4-3 versus 4-3 plus panatumumab. And we looked for the same question, do these additional mutations have an impact on the outcome of these patients? And so um, with this, this type of analysis, um, we first looked for the wild type patients in KRAS exon 2, then looked to the exon 3, exon 4 in the KRAS gene, and also in the NRAS genes. And we found an additional 18% of new mutations outside exon 2 KRAS. And then we looked on the impact on progression-free survival and overall survival, and it's clearly seen that if you have a mutated tumor, you don't have a benefit, but you don't have a deleterious effect of the association of panetumumab plus for free. If you have a wild-type RAS tumor, you clearly have a benefit in progression-free survival and overall survival uh, when combining penetumumab with 4-free.